Hi boys, welcome to a science daddy cast. This is day two of science for week 13, studying the earth and the different parts of the earth. Here's a verse, Job 26, 10. And then it says he, it's talking about God. He drew a circular horizon on the face of the waters at the boundary of light and darkness. That's the part of Job where it's talking about all the amazing things that God did when he created the world. So in this section, we're learning what are some parts of the geosphere, the core, the mantle, the crust, the hydrosphere, the biosphere, and the atmosphere. Here's a picture of or a diagram of the mantle. The mantle is about 1,800 miles thick and makes up about 85% of the Earth's weight. It is made of molten, melted iron, minerals, and other semi-solid rocks that can flow under pressure. The layer of Earth beneath the crust is called mantle. Look down here at the bottom, the crust is kind of a thin layer at the top. And then you have this mantle, 1,800 miles thick, it says. It is thought that when the rocks rise due to the very intense heat and then cool, this means that they sink back to the core, and this movement causes the crust to break into sections or plates. So things are supposedly heating up, the metals heating up, and when things heat, they rise, and then when they cool, they sink, and so it's a flow around and around. Maybe that, help, that breaks up the crust to create the continental plates. When these plates move and crash into each other, it causes earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. It is because of this movement that mountains and new seafloors are formed. Seafloors are made of a thick rock called basalt, which press into the mantle and then fill with water. The various continents are made from lighter blocks that float on the mantle like massive icebergs. When the mantle layer is explored, they usually do it from the seabed where the layer is thinner than on land. The first time they explored the mantle was in 1996, but they eventually gave up as they just couldn't get it right. I think we need more information about that. In 2007, scientists drilled to 23,000 feet below the seabed from a Japanese ship called Chikyu in an area between Cape Verde Island and the Caribbean Sea. The drilling was three times deeper than any other previous drillings they had done. So what are some parts of the geosphere? The core, the mantle, the crust, the hydrosphere, the biosphere, and the atmosphere. Let's see, I guess yesterday you learned about the core. Maybe you heard about the crust earlier too, even though it's day three. Inner core, core, mantle, crust. All right, that's it for this Daddy Science Cast. Talk to you guys later.